Heavy. After all that went down, I thought you and I'd be ancient history. Don't be a gonk. Any news from the Moxes? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes, is all. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We've got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech and how the world's going to shit? Just rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, Effect was kind of like a bad art house. A couple tries in, though, I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it? Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. What do you say? You in? Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right, suit up, landlubber. Let's get this scroller on you. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. Don't go there, dude. You're in for something I haven't no even fact, asked me if I know me. how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? 50-50 chance, I guess. Willing to risk it for the footage. Water's toxic. That not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. All right. Let's do this. Freezing-ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. Where are we headed exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Nah, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes.
Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. This is it. Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me. Swim. Great. Motion calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. No idea what the song is, but I heard it. Go something like. Down we go. some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? Want to get the right emotional reactions. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why does this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time, gear, stars weren't ever aligned. But truth is, the very idea just felt weird. eatery in town. Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing. Too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. 
Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. About your parents dad was never in the picture mom died when i was tiny can barely remember her I still have her picture but you know I see a stranger there judy judy watch out for her cooties she can't even afford to have parents <laughs> who's that those voices voices didn't hear anything but you just now Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. We looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. It feels like we're outside of time. Like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. Say, I don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. It's good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mmm. Bottled water? <laughs> Touché, Judy. Touché. Wanna see what's further on? Come on, then. Wanna show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels, swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid? Where daily life grinded along? <laughs> Can imagine it a bit. hasn't aged at all. It always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. Gave off this eerie atonal clang. Weird. I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear them. I don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? Must be a side effect. Ah, closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. Did you like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know. Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <laughs> Look around. Thank you. 
found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind, looking at all those people. Back then, I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. You didn't get chased off? Ran out myself. Echo I got back scared me of the Jesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried running out. Flew right back in my face. Ah! Passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful, easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Why the hell... not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but... Then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Ah, forgot to start the generator. I can turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. Think you could have fine-tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. The feed I was picking up felt a bit... Lad, I want to say. Power's up. You go that way. So be careful. Judy. Shit. What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing.
Don't bullshit me, Judy. We're still synced, remember? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw Nonex took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. I think I'll go lie down. I'm beat. It's on my nerves. Let's you and me blow. Just don't wake her up. Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. She reminds you of all, doesn't she? Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Morning. Finally. You know, yesterday I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. The city's chewed me up. And spitting me out. Fuck Judy. You're saying you want to leave. Now. You know, I had this bizarre convo with a doll. Told me I had to fight. And I thought, fight for what? And now, just when I thought I knew what it was all for. Friendship, trust. You're telling me you're leaving. It's not like we won't keep in touch. Give me your hand, B. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, you're asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Take care, B. This really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days. 
Then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. I see you, Judy. Start. I will wait where we met before. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay?
want a new friend? Parade is starting soon. Yeah, that does look pretty great. <sighs> Be just in time. Hey, Goro. Wow, you look like a million eddies. Is that so? That is not how I feel. I ate what you call a Scott burger. Uh huh. <laughs> and what you think, tasty? Ask the people below. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. To begin with, the malware works. Truly, much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade, but the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang, no more thief. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float, enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? I'm ready. Question is, are you? I formed this plan, did I not? All the while ignoring one crucial element, your friend, Oda. Oda is a man of honor. He would not dare raise his hand against me. Maybe. You're gonna be dropping in on Hanako by surprise. Ah, huh. you have a point. Instinct and reflexes win out at the moments like this. So... So I can only hope that I am still faster than he is. Stay safe, Goro. Go. Then let us begin. You must reach all snipers before Anakusama's float appears.
Nomura Arasaka. What about... Family insurance. Nah, that's not much. Uh, hmm. Okay, I I'll, I'll figure it out. Attention all units.
Abort. I repeat, abort. She's holding binoculars. Collect the junkie. I know that forked out ogre. Adam fucking s Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. Get water going back to stay. Sure. Fuck! This fell. Daisy for you. Carefully. You must not draw attention. So. You will have to get down somehow. Just be careful. Yes, just so. Don't rush. I need you alive, not the cops below.
is yours.
Get down! Ah! Oh. Ah. Ah. 